I'm glad we came, but it's bloody hot. There is zero trees, zero shade. The whole time we're like, yeah. <laughs> Today is our first full day exploring New Delhi. We strategically timed it in the middle of a heat wave, so I'm <laughs> expecting these clothes to be well and truly sweated through by the time we get back. Oh yeah. We did also decide to book onto a tour. We're gonna get to run around and see all of the cultural and heritage sites New Delhi has to offer. There's a lot of cars for no cars, but it's nice. A lot of stairs, taking some photos with some people. Being followed a few times. <laughs> yeah. This place is already such a sensory overload and we've literally been here for what, an hour? And all of the markets are shut still. There's so much going on. There was a monstrous cow in the middle of the road <laughs> yeah. and we missed it until the very end. We only saw it right at the Oh, uh, Lucky our guide pointed it out for us. <laughs> yeah, we would have missed it completely. But it's so beautiful. It's so crazy. Like all the wiring and stuff on the street. I love it. Yeah, we're here quite early. Like it's before nine o'clock. So that's why there's still cars around. Yes. Um, and it looks like all the shops are still closed. So I can't imagine when things are open, how crazy it would be. Yeah, I think he said they open in like an hour or so. But it's intense. I'm sure we'll see it. <laughs> spice market and as soon as you walk in it just hits you in the face. We were coughing everywhere, even our guide was coughing. <laughs> yeah. 
but it's busy and it smells amazing and it's not even open yet again. Yeah, we got here before it opened so everything's still closed up. It's nicer though because it's less people obviously. Yeah, and getting to see them all just do their normal thing and sort of start the opening process. Mm. But it's so cool just seeing all the bags of all the spices. There's so many chilies. Looks like they live here as well and just like get up, get clean and, and open shop. So yeah. It is starting to get hot though. I can feel the sweat starting. <laughs> and it's not even 10am. <laughs> not even 10am. But... Back on the bike. <laughs> I love the spice market though. Oh, I can only imagine how intense it would be when it's open. Oh, it'd be insane. <laughs> Local celebrity. I feel famous. <laughs> So we're off the bike. Part of what we wanted to do today is not really know where we're going. That comes with some risks because sometimes they say, where do you want to go? And we're like, we don't really know. But this time we just got in the car and he drove us straight here. This is Mahatma Gandhi's site of cremation. So we've just gone from the hustle and bustle and the craziness of old Delhi to this peaceful and tranquil side of new Delhi. We love India already. The people are just so nice. It's such a genuine kindness and like happiness. It's just infectious. It can be challenging to film in some instances, but Worth it. you just get lost in yeah. the people and the smells and the colors and the spices. Whew. Yeah, it feels like my eyes are wide. There's so much to take in. Yeah. It's just intense all the time. You can't even blink because you'll miss something. <laughs> the whole time we're like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry if you can't hear me properly, we had to remove the microphone, but now we've come to a place that might hint at somewhere we get to visit later in our India trip. We've got 9% left, go! <laughs> So we have made it to the Baby Taj. I'm pretty sure there's another name for it which we'll put here. And we just found out that unlike the Taj Mahal which was built by a husband for his wife, the Baby Taj was built by a wife for her husband. I believe that the Taj was based off of the Baby Taj. I don't know if that's correct. Yeah. But it is beautiful. I can't even imagine what the Taj Mahal is like if this is the baby one. <laughs> We just got out of the tomb. It was beautiful inside and beautiful outside. We did get swamped a bit though. We took a lot of photos at the front um, and it keeps happening wherever we go. And entry was a little bit more than what we thought it was gonna be. So it was 600 rupees to get in per person, 1200 total, which is a little bit above 20 Australian dollars. So, but it's been good and I'm really looking forward to get back into some air conditioning. <laughs> also made me super excited for the Taj Mahal because this is just the baby Taj and it's so intricate and detailed and all of the archways. I have loved it. 
FPS. Very, very keen. Just for air conditioning in the car is gonna be amazing. We just got to see the Lotus Temple. I'm glad we came, but it's bloody hot. There is zero trees, zero shade. So we literally ran around and now we're going back to the air conditioning of the car. to give you a bit of a wrap up because we were not allowed to have a stabilizer and not allowed to have a microphone so we were worried that you wouldn't be able to hear us and what you could see of us would be blurry yeah but we both had such a good day i'm so glad that we did it the way that we did you could definitely go and see all of the sites and cultural places by yourself but it just made it so much easier going out for the first time with a tour guide who knows everything he had water for us basically every time hop yeah. back into air conditioning. Just made it so easy. I think that was the main difference. Every time you left a temple or you left an area, you didn't have to wait and order an Uber or you didn't have to try and fight for the best price. You just had the driver there. So if you are a little bit unsure about going into the crowds in India, do this. It's the best way. Now we are super hot and ready to cool down and just relax for the rest of the day. So we're gonna go, I think, jump in the pool. But yes. now we're both boiling. Stop talking over me. But now okay, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot. That was a sweet one. <laughs> 